Let's take a look at some of the functions available for the audio editor. And the file browser, which is going to drag and drop a stereo file into file group. Uh, it's an audio editor file, and you have multiple tabs available for this file. So you have the file functions where you can access uh, both different export and port preferences, etc. And the view, we have different zoom options. So you can uh, zoom up and down this way, or you can zoom horizontally that way. Another way to zoom horizontally is to use a cursor. You can go up and down the cursor and zoom horizontally this way. You can also have a microscope view or reset the file. And this tab can be hidden as well. So if you have a little icon here, so you can fold the tab here up and down. Other functions on the view tab are the move cursor. You can actually move the cursor to the beginning and the end of the file. Let's move that zoom back in here. And you also have different playback cursor options. In this case, you can have the static view this way, or follow the cursor, or you can have the scroll view where it will just scroll the background and keep the cursor static. Under the Edit tab, you can have a wrench tool which allows you to wrench a left channel, in this case is a stereo file, so you can actually highlight the left side or the right side, depending on the position of the cursor, or the stereo file. Now this allows me to highlight, let's say, a left channels here, switch to the playback tools, and just here, that left channel here, or highlight section of the right channels here, and play that right channels here, or stereo file directly from here. You also have a crop, delete, Smooth delete, you can swap stereo channels. The left is the right, the right is the left. Zero crossing should be engaged, allows you to do some cuttings without uh, getting pops and clicks. You can also directly right click on the highlighted section and cut it, for example, or mute the section. If we look at the insert tab, we have different markers you can uh, select, as well as inserting an audio file at the start position, end position, or at cursor. You also have a mute selection, so you can just mute this selection here, just undo, command Z. You can also silence generator, silence from end to end of the cursor. You also have a bleep sensor, where you have high tones, low tones, and you can also select the frequency uh, you like to, the tone frequency you like to insert, as well as a crossfade milliseconds. You also have factory default settings. Of course, you can always save and recall different tones that you like to insert within the bleep sensor and apply it. Under the process tab, you have different process option, gain envelopes, uh, level, a loudness with a pan, a section which is correct the channel balance of the audio file, um, which you can adjust here with uh, different setting presets. You can save and recall as well. Uh, some different fade options um, as well at time stretching, pitch, uh, time and pitch, uh, stretching, bending, etc. Under correction, you can detect pops and clicks or crackles and analyze the file, the entire file, or you can actually uh, highlight a section and maybe just analyze that defined section. You can also autocorrect the, uh, the file, so you could just click autocorrect and it will uh, look for error and correct them. And it's different settings options. Under Spectrum, you can see it will display the waveform as a spectrogram. So if you look at the bottom left corner here, you can display a traditional waveform, spectrogram, wavelet. It will show you a different uh, perspective as well as loudness. Regardless of the tab you're selecting here, you can display spectrogram, wavelet, or loudness directly by switching the tabs in the bottom left corner here. Now from there, you have different tools available. You can actually uh, select a section here and move it around by just dragging it to a different locations and copy it, paste it there. You have, for example, a lasso, so you can define actually a, a region, you know, within the spectrogram. It will show you the frequency, so you can move it around. So if you go up, you can see the higher frequency, 6,000 hertz here or close to that, and then down to 23 hertz. If you right-click on that section here, you could play solo that selection 
or you can also play mute selection, which is the surrounding, subtracting that region from there. Another tool is audio impairing, which allows you to replace the content of the selection using the surrounding regions. The magic wand will allow you to select a surrounding spectral content with a similar dB magnitude. And for example, like this section here or sections here, and it will show you actually show the frequency as well, it's selecting here. And again, you can right click and play that sections or mute sections. Under analysis, you can do a global analysis. First switch to waveform, global analysis, analysis, and it will give you the peak of the left and right, in this case the stereo file, the loudness analysis directly from here, and it will show you the file. You can also do a comparison, so if all have, you have two files for that, so if I drag another file in here, right, so if you do a comparison, you can see two files here, and you can compare two files, and it will look for error between the two different files and create uh, the first file or second file, so it will create marker at the point of differences. You can also do a 3D frequency analysis of the file over time. Finally, the render tab allowed you to render a whole file, or maybe you selected all your range or a specific region. You can uh, uh, rename the file, um, location, or format. Uh, you have different options for the processing, rendering. Uh, you can add reverb tail, for example, or bypass the master section. You have some preset you can recall, save and recall, and the start rendering button.